Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 646. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 644 to 646. Hey, before we do this trick, I just want to tell you uh, Excel is fun, has a Facebook account and Twitter account, so please go search Facebook and Twitter for Excel is fun, all one word, and then subscribe. Hey, in this trick here, we have an apparel data set, size, cost, price, and style. And at the end of the style is a dash and then a categorization for men, women, teenagers, and kids. And this person was going M-E-N, uh, W-O-M-E-N for each time they saw it and trying to fill in a huge column. No way. I do not want to do that. So all I got to do is we'll set up a little table with our abbreviations. This is what's in the style column. This is what we want in the cell. And we will first have to extract each one of these uh, ending abbreviations for the category, put it in this column, and then use each one of those at, in a VLOOKUP to look up in the first column and return this. So the first trick is, hey, how do we get this? Well, notice all of these um, abbreviations for the category are at the end, which to us is the right. So we're going to use the right function right function can extract text from the right. But here we need two, here we need three, here we need one, one character from the right, three characters from the right. So first, um, how are we going to do that since it's va varying? Well, we can use the um, search function to find that dash. That'll give us three, or however many it is from this direction here and we'll subtract that from the length and that will give us the how long that is there. Let's go ahead and do this. Equals and let's try the search function. Search function can find a particular text in a larger text string and tell us what position it is. I'm going to in double quotes dash and double quotes. So that's the text I want to find within what? Within this. Control enter. I'm going to double click and send this down now they're all eight just because when I created this data set I put style dash three, but these will be varying lengths, so they all won't be eight. Um, so we have that. I'm going to highlight this whole column. I'm going to do the rest of this. There's the active cell. I can actually edit the formula here, F2. And when I edit it, I can use Control Enter to repopulate the column. Now what do I need to do? I need to do LEN. What does the len function do of that text right there? It'll just tell us how long in total each one of these text string is. So in that way, we take our len minus uh, our search, and we get control enter. We get our exact uh, length of each one of the abbreviations. Now, what do we need to do here? F2, and then we're going to use that number inside the right function. It'll actually be the second argument. So text is that, comma, and then there's the number of characters. Now I'll close parentheses and then control enter. There we go. Now that's got exactly what we want. We'll use this in the first argument of VLOOKUP. So I'm going to put this into edit mode F2. Remember this whole thing, just imagine it's one little thing. It's going to go inside of the VLOOKUP. So I'm going to put VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP needs a lookup value. No problem, we got that. Now, I'm going to scroll over this direction a bit. Very carefully click right there. You can see the argument, comma, and then it says, where's the table array? I'm going to come and get this, drag right to there. And we need to F4 with our F4 key to lock the cell references, comma, and that jumps to the next screen tip, column index. Well, in VLOOKUP, we're going to look up here and find like WMN in the first column of the lookup table, and we need to return the woman, so we have to put a two here. Comma, and finally, are we looking up an approximate or an exact? We have words in our first column, and they are not sorted, so we use uh, zero for exact. Close parentheses, control enter, and there we have it. Now really, I should have done this formula down here so you could see the whole table, right? But there you go. Uh, VLOOKUP, right lens search, to add categories based on some text at the end of a text string. All right, we'll see you next trick.